All right, guys, we're back. And today I'm going to teach you guys about exponents. And this is probably going to be part one of exponents. So this is basically an introduction to exponents and rules about exponents. So what is an exponent? Well, first, let's look at this. So it's essentially x to the y power. So that's what it says right here. And it means x times itself y times. So an example is 3 to the fourth is basically equal to you multiply 3 four times. So 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. So this is called the exponent, which is represented by y. And x, which is the number on the bottom, is called the base. You guys can remember this by the base as the bottom and exponent as the top. All right, so in this case, 3 to the fourth, 4 is the exponent and 3 is the base. So there are many things that concern exponents, such as multiplying exponents. So when you multiply exponents, you have to make sure that the base is always the same. So in this case, x is the base, so and x is equal to x, so it's the same. So when you multiply exponents, you add the exponents. So y, I mean x to the y times x to the z, right, is equal to x to the y plus z. So an example is, so what's 4 to the 6 times 4 to the 4? It's equal to 4 to, uh, 4 to the 6 plus 4. And 6 plus 4 is 10, so it means this is equivalent to 4 to the 10th power. And another rule applies when you're dividing exponents. So when you're dividing exponents, you have to subtract the exponents. So in this case, x to the y divided by x to the z is equal to x to the y minus z. So an example is 4 to the 6 divided by 4 to the 4th is equal to 4 to the 6 minus 4. Because you subtracted the exponents. And what's 6 minus 4? It's 2. Meaning that this equation is equivalent to 4 to the second. So there are some rules that are concerned with exponents. So one of them is x to the first is always equal to x. And you guys might not know this, but x to the zero is equal to 1. And that's always true. And this is pretty uh, special, but x to the negative y, the exponent's a negative number, is equal to 1 over x to the y. And now another case is x to the 1 over y, this is a fraction right here, is equal to x root y. So that's what the fraction means, right? So don't confuse these two because they're not the same thing. But now what if you combine the negative and the fraction? It's equal to 1 over x root y. So that's what happens when you go x to the negative 1 over y. So that's what it means and let's continue on so these are very important exponents that i recommend you guys remember so it's from 2 to the first power all the way to 2 to the 10th these are very important numbers 2 4 8 16 32 64 128 256 512 and 1024 i recommend you guys memorize this but if you guys have a calculator on hand you guys do not really need to and for the powers of 3, I recommend you guys memorize all the way up to 3 to the 5th power, which is equal to 243. That is recommended. You guys don't have to do that. And for 4 and 5, you only have to memorize to the 4th power because these numbers are pretty big. So it's better if you guys memorize them. So this is exponents and this is an introduction. So for all of you guys who are just getting into algebra or pre-algebra, this is pretty nice and pretty neat. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in part two.